Good afternoon. I'm Fred Schaefer from the Indoor Football League. Would like to introduce Jawad Yatim from the Massachusetts Pirates, the newest member of the Indoor Football League. Welcome. Hey, thank you so much, Fred. I certainly appreciate it. Thank you for having me on. And it's, uh, you know, it's certainly a pleasure to be a part of the, the IFL and, and uh, you know, can't wait to get started. That leads me to my first question. Why the uh, IFL? What made you guys decide you wanted to join the IFL? Um, you know, just uh, the potential of the of what can come about, you know, a full nationwide league um, is really what intrigued me. Um, you know, this this whole uh, process began for me, you know, months and months ago, just, just from an internal standpoint, you know, uh, where I was, you know, trying to, you know, think of the direction where, you know, in which the Pirates would be headed moving forward after our agreement with the NAL was up and just... Uh, the pros certainly outweighed the cons when it came uh, to joining the IFL. And, um, you know, I uh, couldn't be any more excited. You know, I, I think we got a lot of great things going on in, uh, in the IFL. And, and we got a lot of great partners in here. And, and uh, you know, certainly be, you know, certainly glad to be joining them. And, and uh, I can't wait for the future, for sure. And fantastic. Now, you guys are located in, and let me pronounce this correctly, oh, yeah. Worcester, Massachusetts. Can you tell me about the city and the uh, DCU Center? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So uh, Worcester, Massachusetts, it's, um, you know, the most central location in our state. So it's about, uh, you know, 40 to 45 minute drive from Boston. It's about 40 to 45 minutes from Providence, um, you know, about an hour from Springfield. So it's right smack in the middle of, of our state and, um, you know, New England, to be honest with you. So, uh, yeah, it's, a, you know, it's the second largest city in New England. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's got a lot of history behind it. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it's a great market, and, and the DCU Center, the building that we play in, is a, a 14,800-seat facility that um, wow. was recently renovated, and they have, a, you know, I believe more renovations planned for the future, but, you know, great building. We have a great relationship with them. Um, you know, I'm from the area. I grew up here, so, uh, you know, it was, uh, you know, an easy decision, you know, for us uh, in, in regards to where, where we'll be competing and, you um, yeah, we certainly enjoy being here. It's easy for us, and then uh, we're, we're just going to continue to grow the brand. Fantastic. Now, I was doing a little research. You played some football in your day. How did you and your family get involved with the uh, indoor football uh, game? Um, well, I, I, briefly, I briefly played in the IFL. Um, yeah, it was, it was brief. I was with, uh, you know, the Cedar Rapids Titans, uh, the Billings Wolves, and uh, the Tri-Cities Fever in my rookie year. Um, and then after that, I played in China uh, when they had put that league on out there. But yeah, I briefly played in the IFL, and it really uh, shaped my the way I my philosophies in regards to running a team. You know, it, uh, the experiences that I had gone through, you know, during that time. Um, you know, I took the good and the bad, and just formulated my philosophy moving forward as as I operate this team. But uh, it was it was an awesome experience. I, I loved it. Um, you know, it was fantastic. Met a lot of great people, and um, yeah, it was certainly awesome. Yeah, you and your uh, dad. I'm sorry, you. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> but it was uh, it was a great experience for sure. Okay, you and your dad started this team, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, I you know, I uh, my father is pretty busy with with his with his actual business. So um so yeah, I I I really did start it. I pitched it to him, and um, you know, it's been great to be able to work with him. It's allowed us to spend time together that we didn't have before, and. Uh, you know, it's been awesome but yeah he he's involved but he's 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 really involved in his own business more so fantastic now the pirates are well established you got a good fan base tell me about your uh, coaching staff yes sir yes sir so um it starts at the top we got patrick pass um he is our head coach and and uh he he's a uh, he's from georgia but he's a local guy he lives in this area now and he uh he won three super bowls with uh with the patriots uh, during their first run back in the early 2000s and and uh you know he's fantastic you know he commands the respect of the players he he he's a guy that's going to get every little bit of potential out of them and then that's certainly what we've been looking for here and then um our defense defensive coordinator is Rayshon Kaiser who uh he a long time AFL guy you know uh he he was a defensive coordinator in Bismarck I believe uh, a couple years ago so uh he's got some experience you know but he's young he's enthusiastic he's energetic uh, I think he's really going to captivate our our guys uh, on that side of the ball, and then you know uh, bring everything out of them, and that's that's all we're looking for out of him. And and um, 
you know, as far as offensive coordinator goes, we, we're still uh, evaluating that position and looking to, uh, you know, get that wrapped up here. And then, you know, we've got a great D-line coach, Coach Snay. Um, you know, but we're really starting to fill in the pieces now. You know, it's nice to, to get this whole situation out of the way. And, um, you know, we, we can certainly move forward in, uh, uh, in regards to assembling our, our roster and coaching staff and, and all that good stuff as we prepare to compete for a championship. There's no there's no letdown. You know, I know we're in a new league, you know, different rules set and whatnot. But but in this area, if you're not competing for championships, you're, you're irrelevant. So, um, <laughs> yeah. you know, we're, we're, we plan on competing. And, and that's certainly, um, you know, uh, our, our mindset going into 2021. Yeah, you kind of answered my next question. I knew that you guys, when you when you first started, you you, you came out, you were successful. So what are what what can the IFL expect from the Massachusetts Pirates in 2021? Um, an, an enthusiastic organization, uh, you know, an energetic organization, extremely competitive organization. You know, one thing I preach to our you know our organization as a whole is you know we don't really strive to be the best; we strive to be the most competitive. And um, and yeah, we uh, that you know that's yeah, and we just hope to that the results that yield from being extremely competitive, you know, um, uh, are the ones that we're looking for. So you know, expect a great product, you know, on and off the field. You know, when we come to your arena, you know, expect a, a competitive, good game, a game that your fans will want to come back and see next time we're in town. So you know, uh, we plan on being good for business, and, and we plan on being good on the field. So yeah, excellent. Well, Juwan, I appreciate your time. Welcome to the Indoor Football League. And uh, it's, uh, it's the Massachusetts Pirates. Get hooked, right? Yes, sir. Get hooked. All aboard, all that good stuff. You know, we can't wait to get rocking here. And, and thanks again, Fred. And certainly appreciate you having me on and look forward to talking again. All right. Best of you in the future. Most definitely. Go Pirates. Appreciate it.